So we'll quickly look at another condition. This is a PID. All right, pelvic inflammatory disease. All right, pelvic inflammatory disease. So you just have to do it. Your uterus can get what inflamed. All right, your ovaries can get inflamed. Your fallopian tube can also get inflamed. You know. So pelvic inflammatory disease is just a serious infection of female reproductive organs. All right. So it's affecting what the uterus, fallopian tube, the ovaries, just like I've stated here. You know. So it's mostly caused by what sexually transmitted disease. So if a woman have this, most of the times, if you ask her one or two. You know she has sex with somebody and you know they spread like chlamydia or gonorrhea to her you know so what usually causes this so sexually transmitted infections from chlamydia from gonorrhea you know bacteria overgrowth you know so sometimes the normal bacteria that should be in the vagina and help you help the vagina to be a good place this bacteria can grow so much Sometimes it could be that your immune system was not good enough to control them, you know. So, um, bacterial overgrowth from vaginal flora entering the upper reproductive tract, post procedural infections like after birth, abortion, you know, intrauterine device or pelvic surgeries, douching, which can push bacteria upward and disrupt the vaginal balance. Okay. So symptoms to watch out for in pelvic inflammatory disease, all right? So things like what? There's lower abdominal or pelvic pain, all right? Unusual vaginal discharge, often have an odor, you know? If she's having pain or urinating, it's painful. If she's having sex or urinating, it's painful. Irregular uh, menstrual bleeding, you know, fever and chills, all right? Having nausea and vomiting. So diagnosis is like you trying to pinpoint this issue. So pelvic examination, vaginal or cervic, cervical swabs. This one are trying to actually what? Check out the microorganism that is causing that issue. Then blood and urine test, ultrasound or MRI, laparoscopy, where you want to like just open and look at the issue. So treatment is if you are dealing with infections, you can use antibiotics to cover those bacteria, then they can also hospitalize you if the case is severe, if there's pregnancy or if oral medications don't work for you. There's surgical options, you know, to drain, you know, maybe there's like pus formation in the vagina or sorry, pus formation from the uterus from the fallopian tube or ovaries so they can drain it, you know. Then partner treatment. As they are treating you they are also treating your partner because the funny thing is you can be getting it from your partner if they treat you and you're well you still go back to your partner you still get the same disease condition so they should be treating your partner along as well